have their paper clips closed. Uh, the side pocket is I made a couple of fishtail banners up here so you can tuck underneath those. And this is two of the Tim Holtz tattered florals, the tattered florals die, and a button that I um, tied off with some uh, of the cotton uh, crocheted thread that I uh, dyed with some um, walnut stain. And it has just two places for journaling inside. This is the top. Tuck up underneath there. That's the other side of this, the other side of the first glassine bag. It's just a, a butterfly, a butterfly punched out and a piece of uh, ephemera from the kit. That's the other piece of construction paper. And it's a pocket that came with the kit. This little belly band came with the kit. And it's supposed to look like a little seed packet, I think. This is one of the pages that I shrunk down. This is a top loading pocket. Another doily. And that's the end of the first signature. Another side pocket. We have a butterfly and two pieces of ephemera from the kit and then just a couple of tags. Side pocket. Wax paper bag. Glycine bag. Uh, this envelope. This is one of the book page envelopes that I sometimes use. It's just paper clipped over the page, so you can um, flip it out, put something in, and then you can use it as a tuck spot on both sides. And this one has oops, a postage stamp on it. And it's paper clipped with another one of the, the little clips. A little, one of the little Prima clips. This one's a watering can, watering pail. And I thought went well with the garden theme. So that just goes right back on like that. There. Another side pocket. This is um, two scalloped hearts. Uh, another button tied off with the, the thread again, the string. Another envelope. Again, it's empty. Another top loading pocket. I think this is one of my favorite pages here. I love poppies. I just I just think that one is really pretty. And a couple of banners. Another side pocket. Belly band. And another doily top. half of the, book, the bag. This one's empty and use more of the crocheted trim on this one. And the um, jelly bean uh, zigzag um, envelopes, pockets. That's got a little 
tag in there. And one of my embossed um, craft uh, tags. And another top spot. So this journal is great to um, stick in your stick in your bag, your pocket, uh, not your pocket, but you know your your pocketbook, your tote bag, whatever. You can um, write down your ideas for your garden, uh, take pictures of your garden, and put it, put them in here, kind of document document the progress through the season. Uh, another side duck here. It's topped off with a butterfly. Another glassine bag. This one's got another um, canning jar on it. And this one's empty. So the femur from the kit and makes a side tuck. And that noise, if you can hear it, that is my cell phone. And they can call me back. Another side pocket here. This is some kind of ledger paper with another jelly bean bag. A tag. Another uh, side wing pocket. The femur from the kit and a butterfly. A doily. A center envelope. Top loading pocket and another pocket from the kit. This one's got uh, highest highest um, hyacinths on it, and it's open on, open at the back also. This is a coffee dyed envelope. Um, made it as a flip out. So you can journal under here, put things inside, journal here, and you can use this as a, a tuck spot, and it also flips out, and there's just some uh, just some washi that I have from when I used to uh, do filofaxing all the time. So I have a ton of washi, and I never use it anymore. Another side pocket with another uh, can jar, and some more journaling spots inside. This is the other half of the glassine bag, and it's empty. It just has some ephemera from the kit. And this one is, I'm going to use my list, is open at the back, so you can tuck behind here. Another doily. Some lined paper. This is the last side loading pocket. This is another um, tattered floral, and this has two buttons um, stacked and, and uh, tied together, tied off together with some more of the uh, cotton string. And the last page, and the back cover, and you can, I did not mod podge this, so you can uh, can write on the both the inside, both the inside covers. And that's the back, just has my information on it. Um, this will be listed for sale uh, in my Etsy. I hope to get a chance to, to do that today. Uh, if I don't, then it will be tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. And um, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the uh, like button and post me a comment. I'd love to hear um, what all of you have to say. If you have any suggestions of anything that you would like to see, uh, please let me know. Um, Click on my uh, Etsy store, Pumpkin Patch Journals, Designs from the Chair, and uh, check out the uh, other journals that I have there for sale. And drop me a note if there's something that you would like to see. I'd be glad to do a custom order for you. And uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of your Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.